Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 36th episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers titled Birds of a Feather. For the record, before we even start this episode, we notice that Tommy is just already out of the opening sequence. Damn, Power Rangers, that's cold. We begin at the Youth Center, where Zack is teaching a class of karate students. He's asking a kid named Cameron, who seems to be insecure about his fighting prowess, to demonstrate some new kata with him. And when they do, Cameron falls on his own ass. Then Bulk and Skull show up with a protege named Biff, who looks like them, kind of, and does karate real well, apparently. What the hell? On the moon, Rita is excited because Fincer has sent down her Hatchosaurus to Earth off screen. Back at the youth center, Zack talks to Cameron about not letting Biff get into his head. Cameron brings up a good point. What if Biff cheats? Zack says then Biff will be disqualified. But don't worry, Zack promises he'll be in Cameron's corner if he needs him. We cut straight to the competition and Cameron's about to fight, being super insecure about his skills. Jason shows up to get a message from Zordon that there's a new monster. He retrieves the other rangers and Zack has to tell Cameron he's gotta go due to an emergency. Cameron is so disappointed that he looks high as hell about it. At the command center, Zoran lets the rangers know that Rita has buried a bird-like monster in the ground near the power plant. It's also being controlled by an ultra-intelligent supercomputer called Cardiotron. He says that they need to get inside the monster to destroy it. When they ask how, Zordon just says, I'm confident you'll find a way. Dude, that's not legitimate advice. It's morphin' time. The Rangers call out their dinosaurs right away as the Hatchosaurus wakes up. Before they even do anything, they say they need to get help for some reason, and Jason uses the Dragon Dagger to call out the Dragon Zord, who fights the Hatchosaurus. He holds him steady while all the individual Zords fire at him, which causes the Hatchosaurus to explode. On the moon, Squat basically lets everyone know that they suck because the monster's dead. The Rangers show up in the command center in totally different clothes than before, and Zordon's like, Bitches! I said there was another component! Turns out the Hatchosaurus is coming back together. Rita also somehow takes control of the Dragon Zord with a magic spell. Why did she even want the Green Ranger power coin again? The Rangers morph again. The Hatchosaurus is all together again, wrecking the city when the Megazord just comes in. Now it's time for the Dragon Zord and Hatchosaurus to fight, and it's not going so well for the Megazord, getting pinned down. They try to call on the Dragon Zord, but he's being held captive by Rita's invisible rope thingy. So they call on the Power Sword to try to defeat the Hatchosaurus, which ends up with the Hatchosaurus just throwing the Megazord. It's kind of amazing. They use the Power Sword and slash the Hatchosaurus, killing him. But then, he just comes together again, thanks to the Cardiotron. I mean, like, come on guys. This is getting ridiculous. Oh, and the uh, Dragon Zord waltzes in and watches everything that's going on. Jason decides it's time to do that thing that Zoran said that they should have done, and he just straight up jumps right into the monster's stomach via its mouth, and he fights the Cardiotron, and yeah, it's not going well that way either. Sure, it would have been nice if we had the green power coin to give to another candidate or something, huh? By the way, the Dragon Zord falls over, so Zack tells Jason he needs to use the Dragon Flute. The what? You mean the dragon dagger? To be fair, I guess now probably isn't the time to correct someone. Jason somehow uses Dragon Zord power, and he gets Tommy's old shield on him, and the Dragon Zord hits Cardiotron out of Hatchosaurus somehow with his tail, while Jason fights a giant ass ball slash heart thing on the ground. Oh, I've also neglected to mention that Cardiotron also has a voice. You are a worthy opponent, Power Ranger. A pity I must destroy you. Jason uses both the Power Sword and the Dragon Dagger to destroy Cardiotron. The Rangers come together again in the Megazord and call on Titanus and the Ultra Zord, blowing Hatchosaurus to oblivion. I'm still really lost on how that was a bird thing. At the youth center, Zack finds out that Cameron made it to the highest martial arts level without his support. Zack goes over to him to apologize, and he promises to be there for the rest of the competition. Zack, just stop promising things! As it turns out, Cameron is fighting Biff in the last round of the competition, and who cares? Cameron and Biff fight, and of course Cameron wins, and Biff and Cameron shake hands. How was this a Zack episode that had almost absolutely nothing to do with Zack? The end. This episode was one of my favorites as a kid for the sole reason that I used to think that Cardiotron was so cool. But I'll never understand why they kept naming things that weren't robotic in the slightest something drawn. It's just strange. Seeing Jason use the Dragon Dagger and the Dragon Shield is also cool, 
But what the episode really could have used was a single mention of Tommy. Dude was a ranger with them for like 20 episodes, and now we're just pretending like he never existed. But we'll still use his toys? Kinda awkward. Will they mention him next time? Probably not. But until then, may the power protect you.